Gemini Scorpio getting ready to do a weekend reading for you. I'm going to, I think, do a Celtic cross. I'm feeling for Scorpio. I may do different ones for different signs. We'll see. Scorpio, sun, moon, and rising. All right. You have the seven of cups. So you might be overwhelmed right now. You may have a lot of choices crossed by the ten of cups. So you may have a nice home life right now. You may like where you're living. Things may be going well. Uh, some of you may be thinking about selling a home. But you have the sum. What's on your mind is maybe changes, new things starting, new things coming in, maybe starting creative projects, uh, maybe, you know, getting back into shape or starting a new exercise regimen. Anything with the sun, something can grow. So definitely maybe you have, some of you may have moved. I'm seeing maybe you've made friends with the surrounding neighbors, uh, or maybe also getting back with family. Yeah, six of wands. I feel like this was a good choice. So maybe you haven't made this choice yet, Scorpio. Maybe this is something that you're going to be thinking about over the weekend, this coming week. Okay, yeah, there you are. Wow, so you are definitely making plans about some new project. You might also be living with someone or moving in with someone. It might be family also. High Priestess. Okay, Six of Cups is in reverse. Sorry, it's a little cut off. So some of you don't want to go back to the past. You don't want to relive it. You want to do new things with the Seven of Cups. I feel like you're trying to come up with new ideas. You want to change the path that you've been on. Eight of Wands, exactly. I was thinking maybe some of you might travel or may, may move long distances also. It's like you want to shake things up, but in a very positive way, in a way that makes things, you know, flow. It's easy. You don't want to, like, tower everything and just start over. You want, um, what I'm thinking, you're making a plan. You're listening to your intuition. You're hoping for maybe money or to move forward with the Knight of Coin. You may have a younger Earth sign in your life, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. And your outcome is the Four of Coin. Under the deck is the Six of Swords. So you are moving to something better. You are making progress, Scorpio. Four of Coin can mean that you... I feel like maybe you won't have the exact plan ready. You are getting the pieces together. It's like you're holding... It's like a secret almost, but not really. It's like you just don't want to share what you're doing with other people. You, you won't know the details by the end of the weekend, maybe, or week. Let's say that. That's kind of what I'm feeling. It can be hanging on to something from the past or holding on to your money, saving your money. Okay. And some cards popped out to the side, so I'm going to show you. Okay. One that fell out by itself is Five of Wands. So it may be that you have different opinions right now. It may be that you cannot figure out what to do. You could be arguing with people around you. I don't get this as a really big deal, but let's see what else fell out. You have the Strength card, the Ace of Wands, the World, and the Two of Swords. So again, maybe you started something and you didn't like it and you want to end it. Maybe you started a new job, you don't enjoy it, you want to move on. Uh, maybe you got into a new relationship. Um, there's something about it that with the world, it's like you can even move it forward and keep working on it, make it bigger, or you can end it. And I kind of feel like you want to end something because I feel like it's taking a lot of your strength. Again, I'll use a job example. You get a job, it's stressful, you realize you don't want this job, and now you know that that means you'll have to quit. People will know. So let me put one card after two of swords. So you do look like you have some type of decision. This may be only relevant to a few of you since it did fall out and it's not part of the spread. It could be a passionate new relationship that you're not really happy in. Okay, two of swords. What is the outcome? Six of coin. And again, this may be where the five of wands is coming in. You're conflicted. You don't know what to do. Six of coin is about balance. It is about giving, giving and receiving. Yeah, maybe that this job gives a lot, I mean, or takes a lot from you. It 
you may have to pay some money out in order to make this change because the two of swords is a decision you know you have to make but you don't want to because you know that you'll have to take certain steps because it may mean that you are being paid well also six of coin it may be a purchasing type of position that you took something to do with um, buying things and you just don't like it you thought you would like it and now you realize you don't and again maybe this is something that you may have to pay money back to someone if you decide to end or quit or something like that you'll have to pay money back so I feel like for someone watching, you know, like you made a decision, you realized you didn't like it, and now you need to make a new decision. You are excited about it, but yet you're conflicted. You know you, people will notice that you're doing something new, and then you know that they're going to say things. I feel like this is a different section for different Scorpios. This isn't here. What I'm going to do, though, is go back around with this reading and see what's coming out for you. All right, what is the Seven of Cups for Scorpio? Seven of Cups. Ace of Cups. So again, it's picking one of these cups. There's seven cups there. I'm getting choices, good choices. What do you do? You want to pick one of these. Okay, let's see. Something that makes you very happy. Could it be love? Absolutely. Of course it can because it's Ace of Cups. But it might be something else, a new career that you would really love, a new friend. Okay, what is the Ten of Cups? What is the Ten of Cups for Scorpio? Six of Swords moving in a better direction. So again, if you are moving, if you're thinking about moving in with someone else, friends, or if you're hoping that things are going to improve, they are. That's a very good omen, Six of Swords. It's about coming out of choppy water and moving to smoother, uh, better place. It's also mental. So if you've been having a lot of mental worry, frustration, trying to figure something out, you're going to make that choice and you are going to be out of that frustrating five of wands what do I do type of energy if that's been bothering you lately what is the sun the queen of swords so again definitely could be your energy definitely could be you figuring out exactly what you want you know I do feel Scorpio strongly that you are putting a plan together you want things that can grow you're looking to the long term maybe you don't have the ten of cups right now maybe you're looking out ten years and you're making a plan and you're like, okay, I'm going to do this and this and that with the sun. It will grow. I'll make more money. I'll have new friends. I'll, you know, find new love, etc. If it is an actual air sign, there's possibilities here of friendship or love with this person, king or queen. So that's a very good omen also with the sun. This could be, um, you know, a new friend or, you know, back, getting back together with family members, maybe that you have not seen in a while. Let me go to the six of wands seven of coins so again you put in a lot of effort and time with the seven of coin and with the six of wands I mean this is what is going to pay off it is victory what is the queen of wands obviously this is you but what does she represent the ace of swords so a new beginning so again I really feel like that queen of swords up there is you there's that sword you got out of your emotions, you made a plan. If you haven't made a plan, don't worry about it. This is a good time to pick, you know, those cups. What do you want in your life? What do you want to do now? Some of you, you're already making changes. Some of you have already moved and now you're having to make changes, but it's okay. This was meant to be. And if you're watching and you feel like you don't know what to do next, this is the energy that will help you decide and make a plan. So what is the high priestess here? What is the high pr priestess? The devil. Okay, listen to your intuition. Gosh, there could be so many things with the devil. I mean, this could be doubting yourself. You're you're chained to the devil who you listen to, who whispers in your ear and tells you you're not good enough. You can't do that. You're not allowed to do that. Um, this is, um, again, can, can be a relationship that maybe you know that you need to let go of. You know, it's not healthy anymore. It's not good to be in. Oh, this could be old beliefs. This could be a Capricorn. This could be an addiction that you need to kick. Um, you'll have, you'll know. It will come to you and you will know that on this journey ahead, 
there's something that you will probably need to get rid of or change or fix and you'll know what it is with the high priestess again i usually read her as intuition she might be a secret but then that could be a secret coming out it could be dealing with a capricorn it could be a, a relationship um, but i don't feel like this is anything stressful or anything to really worry about to be very honest what is the six of cups ace of cups now the six of cups is in reverse so this tells me that a lot of you or most of you do not want to go back to the past you don't want to redo the past you want to do things different um, you may get a message or conversation from someone from the past the page of cups or this is telling you it's not this could be someone new coming in and the six of cups says it's not from the past this is someone new again it might be a friend it doesn't have to be a love interest what is the page of cups or who is the page of cups for scorpio okay this could be someone from the past and they this could be that devil energy so it could be just as simple as that you have to communicate with someone from your past an ex um, this may be someone who keeps you you know they text you every once in a while to make sure you're still attached to them that you're still thinking about them there's something here with this person this communication that you feel like you're trapped and you just can't get away from it right now but the energy around you is eight of wands either communication with you hang demand or moving forward so this is what's influencing the reading this is what um, around you is going on so there could be messages coming in to you there could be other people you know taking action moving away um, this could be why you decided to make some of these changes but this isn't bad energy this is about forward mo motion so what is the knight of coin manifest okay so again I'm gonna go back to this one because this may be messages coming to you and you don't know what to do with them and you're just gonna wait with the hanged man energy you may not act on this information here definitely could be this person here definitely could be this energy here this could be all one thing they could be talking to you wanting to get back together wanting to know how you are and you may just not you may feel like you can't get away from them like everything you do that you cannot get away and so you may not answer them and talk to them right now the magician is in your hopes along with the knight of coins so obviously you want your money to grow you want to move forward financially and the outcome is the four of coins so let's see what the four of coin is four of coins you have the Knight of Cups. You have the Ten of Wands. One more card. You have the Nine of Wands. I really feel like there is someone in your life that is trying to either um, win you back, pull you back in. They won't leave you alone. They won't let go. And one more card, please. And that may be where you are the queen of swords you have to see things logically now you have to know that this is your life you have to plan it you want the sun to shine you want a new beginning one more card please so three of swords now again i don't think that's your energy scorpio i think this person knight of cups is coming in for you i think they're burdened i think they're sad i think they are they want to win you back there could have been a third party but in the past it has nothing to do with you now i'm seeing that so this could be like guilt someone making you feel guilty someone making you feel like you owe them so the four of coin to me is like uh, now i see that as you protecting yourself you have your coins you're hiding your heart you're holding them against you you really don't want to open up you don't want to share your feelings um Because remember, you have this new cup here, this Ace of Cups. This is something new. Let's clarify that new Ace of Cups. I think it can be different for different people, again, meaning a new work life, new family life, not just love. But let's see, what is the Ace of Cups? What is the Ace of Cups? Three of Coin. You're starting to shine. Yeah, this Eight of Cups fell out just now also. So there's something you're walking away from someone. So it must be this Knight of Cups, and they're feeling that, and they're missing you. And they're coming back around so 
you are shining. So whether it is in love, if you're meeting someone new, people are attracted to you, if it's work, creative work that you're really good at, um, you see this growing, you see this project or this job, career growing with this Queen of Swords energy, with the sun. So don't be surprised if other people, you know, try to bring, pull you back. Is it unhealthy? It probably is because they showed you the devil. It probably is because you have the eight of swords. All right. Um, again, it feels like you might be ignoring someone, but it feels like this might be the right thing for you to do, Scorpio. Because back here, I do see you look at you put in so much effort. And this could be the last year, two, three years, honestly. I mean, a lot of effort. And again, you have this new beginning with this Ace of Swords. So keep going forward, Scorpio. Keep doing the work you're doing. You're starting to shine. You have new things ready to grow. Unfortunately, you know, it's time to move on without some people probably in your life. And that's hard for you and for them. But the four of coin to me is showing me that you don't really have to open up and share anything. Um, I mean, if you feel led to, of course, do that. But I feel like you're kind of being a little bit protective of yourself and of your belongings or the money you made or... I don't think this is you being stingy, but if there's a possibility of helping someone, you may need to help someone. So I'm going to leave it there. Have a great week, Scorpio, and take care.